have a look at this guy. This is a huge fishing spot. I believe it's a dark, dark spot. Is it a dark spot? I forget what kind. Dark something fishing spider. Whoop, oh, okay. Alright, alright. Don't ever try this with a spider, by the way. Alright. Look at that. Now you can see the two fangs are ready to roll. If I give him any space, he's gonna turn and, uh, and bite me because these guys have some serious, serious fangs for the size of the spider they are. This is the biggest fishing spider that you can even find here. This is a, they're the size of a small tarantula, basically. Now look at the fangs on that thing. Huge, big fangs. And they don't have a lot of very potent venom, but it's definitely potent enough to kill a fish pretty quickly. But nothing dangerous to a person. But if he were to whack me right now, he would put a lot of venom into me, and it would definitely swell up throughout the day, so I definitely am trying to avoid getting bit by this spider. This would be the largest spider that you would find here, other than like a golden orb weaver or a black and gold argiope spider. Now this one is very unhealthy. The head is huge and the abdomen on this one is small, so that means it hasn't been able to get any good food re recently. But there's lots of little fish along here. It just needs to wait, maybe at the base of something like this little stick right here, and just wait for a fish to go by, crawl under the water, and grab it and envenomate it. Once they envenomate a fish, basically, it dies and they follow it and they eat it. So they're very, very good predators most of the time, but this one hasn't been successful for a little while. Now the body, probably get about two inches long when full grown. This is a pretty large one, but I know for a fact that they do get fatter because this one is very skinny. It's an interesting fishing spider to say the least, and they're the size of a small tarantula, which makes them pretty cool. Now I went ahead and put it on this little log right here because you can see the spider way, way better, and it looks a lot, a lot bigger on this. Check that out, look what it just did. It flattened out his body, and it's trying to look just like the piece of wood. Super cool spider, not super active right now, now that it thinks it's hidden, but this is probably the biggest fishing spider you'll find out here. They hunt all kinds of fish, insects, other spiders, frogs, a baby snake, anything that they can get, really. Now this guy wouldn't have very potent venom. It's meant very specifically for fish and the things that it likes to catch, so if this guy were to bite me, uh, I wouldn't have any Really no threat to my life whatsoever, but it would really hurt, especially if she's ticked off, basically. Like, if she's more upset, she's probably going to inject a lot more venom into me, and it's going to hurt a lot more than a normal bite because I'm messing with her like this. But uh, I'm pretty good at avoiding being bit by spiders, so uh, I'm hopefully going to keep that streak alive and not get bit by her today. Now, these guys, just like all arachnids, they have two body sections, the head, and the abdomen. Insects have a head, thorax, and abdomen, and these guys have just a little tiny midsection that connects the head and the abdomen. Now if you look on top of their head, these guys have a few eyes. I believe they have eight eyes for this specific species of spider. Look at those little front mandibles. These guys are arachnids, and what that means is they have eight legs, but in the front they've got these two little mandibles that help push food into their mouth. Whoop, I'm sorry. When I did when I did that, it kind of spooked her a little bit. These guys aren't going to chase you or anything. They're not going to try to come up to you or anything like that. If they do come up to you, it's because they're trying to get away from you and they're trying to run and they're a little bit confused. But uh, these, are, these guys aren't a dangerous spider. They're pretty common down here. And this is a very, very large one. So uh, it's pretty cool to get to show you guys this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time. All right, I'm just going to put him down. Right here. Just kind of let him crawl off on his way. Alright. Ah! Okay, that's not good.